tutorial on a very cool bucket plugin which allows you to restart your server automatically. First, go to bucket.org and then go to get plugins. The name of the plugin is Remote Toolkit and it's the first one here and you can see it's Restart, Scratch, Detection, Outsafe and Remote Console but for today I'm going to show you about this those things I'm not going to show you about the Remote Console, maybe another time Scroll down to me and press Download It's saying for Open Window to it show up You want to save it In your packet folder, which you should have prepared earlier, and you want to make a new folder, then save it in there. Then you don't want to open it, you want to open the folder it is in. You want to extract it here. You're going to get two new folders. For the next part, you need to open this and your bucket folder. What you want to do is open the server there and copy plugins, toolkit, bank of arcade plus a um, running software that run is in the able is able to run on your computer. So if you have a Windows computer, you take BAT. But I think if you have Linux or Mac, take SH. And you basically drag them to your com to your folder. It's going to ask you if you want to change the content of the for the next plugin. Yes, you do. But make sure you not what plugins you have in case it deletes it it never happened to me so it shouldn't be a problem if this is named like this you want to rename it and copy the name of it and go to okay you want to go to toolkit folder and wrap the properties then highlight this thing and paste the one you copy. So it should be crop back in 001 snapshot.jump. And if you want to have different options, you can change them. For example, memory, one gigabyte is enough. Server Alex, hmm, I will change this to two and this to yeah, and this. Server save all period. Zero. Server recent delay. How often should the server restart? I put 15 15 M for minutes. Force restart delay. If it can't restart, should it force your computer to restart it? No, how often should the forced restart be? Uh, we can leave it five minutes. Took it out of shutdown delay. I want zero. For save on restart, true. If you turn, if it restarts, it saves. Simple. You want to save it and close it. Those are the messages will happen for restarts and shutdowns. So you can leave them. They're mainly there, so you know. Okay, then you want to open your bat or sh file with notepad or wordpad, or you can right click edit. And here is user pass. You want to change it to your user and to your pass. And don't use your Minecraft password when. If someone finds out, it's going to be not very nice. Okay. 
save it. Okay, the next thing, run this uh, toolkit to run. Okay, if it doesn't work for on the first time, restart your computer and make sure you have internet connection. And if this pops up, it means good things. If it's like, hey, like warnings, it means you did something wrong but this warning is because I did something wrong in the server properties go to minecraft and go to your server now I will show you all commands for in-game You want to do your password and then make sure it restarts before you do anything else. Add. And then success. Let's make it day. Okay. Let me go here. Okay. The first command is the first command you can use if you have the password is restart SRV and it's basically a restart which you saw before. And um, next one is reschedule res R E S no R V schedule restart and it changes the re server restart time done and it will restart in ten seconds. Oh um, yeah. Server is restarting. And as before, it doesn't work on my computer, so hey, hey, okay, the result of ships. Okay, next command is stop wrapper. Stop. Wrapper has double P. Username, password, and it stops everything and it will not restart. And I don't want to do this because I will have very bad, big problems. Okay, now let's make it smaller. And now we will do password commands from the and one of them is dot help. We get all um, commands we can use with this. Because you can't stop the server without putting um, stop wrapper, you can put dot hold. It will hold until hold. Let's stop. Hold. And the plugin has disappeared. You put stop dot in front of each command, and if I refresh the page, it says that my server is turned off and if I unhold it will restart the server and also it will turn on turn it on 
refresh the page and it's on again. And next, it is modules. And it says that I don't have any modules. Shutdown time. You can do shut down time. No schedule shutdown. So it's good. Server, ser restart time. Restart time. 14 minutes and 1 second. Easy. Um, reschedule shutdown. You reschedule it. Cancel it, shutdown. You can cancel it. You can stop wrapper users. You can see which users are on and which ones aren't. And those are the main passwords. One of them is for me, and one of them is for other thing. There is a command version so if you want to know it's this and it's set and it basically you put set option value and it will set the value option hey I hope you learned something about the remote toolkit hope you had fun and and I see you next time. Bye.